Hey everyone, Zef here. Welcome to Dead Hook Overview. We're continuing the joyway galore of releases with this one. There's gonna be one more coming up, though it's not been yet announced officially, like the date, though I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this year eventually. Those games had to be in the development for a long time, like they might share some similarities, but it's just hard to pump out the content like that. So Dead Hook is a roguelike shooter action game where through exploration, the Elder Planet Resurrect as Abdan Stone, you descend into chaos to fight with the infernos, hook and swing around the environment to save your loved one. Such a bizarre way of just the storytelling. The Joey games have a specific flair, especially with the movement, because it's all happening while in air, if it's jumping from the buildings, having jetpacks, here you swing on the chains, it's like a signature locomotion at this point. Comparing to all other previous titles, I wouldn't say that hook is more original though it kinda seems like a compilation of stuff they've done before, making a game that excels at every level. I suppose this is more catering to my preferences since it's a pretty dynamic shooter with a single player campaign. Roguelike element, I mean every game has it at this point. There's some pretty cool weaponry, boss encounters, like it has it all on top of very polished graphics. The better question is how exploratory it is, because it comes across very open from the trailer, so is it like a set number of enemies you need to defeat in the first place to progress further or you need to descend further in the pits of hell. <laughs> we'll see how the gameplay will be, it kind of seems like a stride on steroids and if the experience will be all smooth and working well then it should be a pretty successful release. Let's go to the gameplay! Whose canopy is space? <laughs> what? Adam, wake up already! We've arrived! Well, judging by the biological indicators, you've not yet recovered from hibernation. I'll activate the recovery program now. <laughs> Awake, Sleeping Beauty. Raven AI has conducted an initial scan of Resurrect. The geometry of the rooms and objects in the module correspond to what you'll encounter on the planet. By the way, it somewhat reminds me of Vita. Can you imagine? It seems like ligaments and other muscles still haven't recovered from sleep paralysis. All right. The numbness should go away now. At least... Try to move your head. During the flight, there was a malfunction in the hibernation program that resulted in temporary amnesia and damage to the vocal cords. The damaged nerve fibers and vocal cords should recover during the rehibernation process. Okay, I didn't expect to have to teach a mercenary how to fight, but I have no choice. So. Your exosuit is controlled by controllers that you hold in your hands under the suit. Raven will teach you how to control the exosuit and I'll display the targets on the screen. Use the left stick to walk. Finally. Such an awkward introduction. To open the door to the next stage, press the button. Grace, please do not interfere in the rehibernation process. I can't turn for some reason. Mabu? You can turn either physically or using the right stick. Adam, I see you're starting to recover from hibernation. Oh god, it's like teaching a baby how to walk. <laughs> I hope all of this wasn't in vain and we actually find this heart of Resurrect. Wave your hands up and down while holding the left stick to run. You, of course, are a dangerous and tough mercenary who isn't used to running away from danger. But who knows what awaits You can access the exosuit firmware interface and change button bindings at any time. To do so, 
Press the firmware access button on the left control. There's slight juice. It's a standard tutorial, but I'm bored. <laughs> controller. You know, when you're pressing buttons in the exosuit menu, it's like I can feel your touches. As if time just stops. Ew. <laughs> You can climb ledges with the grip button. Put your hand on a ledge. Hold the grip. And here's my favorite part. Let's remember why you were nicknamed Dead Hook. Your gloves have amazing hooks built into them that allow you to fly and also kill. Extend your right arm forward and upward. Press the A button to activate the hook. When the hook catches onto a surface, Quickly pull your arm towards yourself to perform a leap. I can't collect those coins. Okay. You can also release the hook from the left glove using the X button. By the way, the coins in here are our favorite M coins. Since this currency exists on Resurrect, there are likely intelligent creatures there. That's good news. Do you remember how much cash we spent on Flysky on Vita? Oh my god, can she stop? Like... The movement is okay, to me. Like, it's dynamic, but it's not the craziest. <laughs> what a great time it was. Take the weapon with the grip button. Activate it by holding the grip and trigger buttons for three seconds. Weapons are printed on 3D printers. Before using them, they need to be synchronized with the systems of the exosuit. Pull the trigger to shoot. What a creepy creature. Good thing it's just a harmless bot created by Raven. I wonder how many of these are on the planet. Are they dangerous? Pretty good. I see you're getting into it. I recognize the good old dead hook. To reload, grab the weapon scope. Hold the grab button and pull the scope towards your You can store weapons in magnetic holsters. Release the grab button. The weapon will automatically magnetize to one of the two holsters behind your sh To reach, take another weapon. Oh my god. Dual wield weapons using the trigger. Hands are occupied with weapons. Reload by pulling their scopes towards each other. You can also reload weapon towards your body. Your health indicators are displayed on the wrist in exosuit display. I hope you don't get hurt. Be careful of them. I'll be highlighting weakened enemies. You can quickly finish them off using the exosuit's execution ability. Your are glowing white. Pull yourself towards them. To finish them off. Finding a game where you can reload both weapons at the same time. I'm speedrunning, but Killings. Adam, your exosuit has a built-in aero impulse generator called Gust. It's a cool gadget. <laughs> I remember how you once knocked out a thug who was bothering me at Hypo with the Gust. To use the Gust, hold the trigger, build up energy, then make a rapid thrust forward while releasing the trigger. The shockwave will... <laughs> You're practically a wizard, Adam. Huh. I wonder what these things are. Alien technology? On Resurrect, there are hollow burn storage units. To open them, hold the hollow burn roads with the grab button and pull them sideways. Hollow burns contain valuable resources. Use the grab button to take the amplifier from the hollow burn and activate it by holding the grab button for th Just a reminder, amplifiers are compact energy containers with upgrades for your exosuit and weapon. I don't like the dialogues and stuff, like, it's in my face. 
I know it's supposed to be like that, but... Oh, and also, your exosuit has a gut ripper function. <laughs> Laser blades. It charges up after killing enemies. The number of charges for a sword strike is displayed on the back of your right hand. This is your ultimate. Kill enemies to activate the ultimate by holding the grip button on both controllers. By sharply swinging the sword, you can charge towards distant enemies. The rehibernation process is completed. Adam, leave the rehibernation module. What's going on? Adam, Raven just conducted a geo scan. Resurrect has extremely low temperatures, snowstorms, and acid volcanoes. Your exosuit may not withstand it. Screw it, let's get out of here. No! Can you hear me? I closed the gates. The ship's AI also detected a lot of corpses and crashed ships on the planet. I have a bad feeling about this. It should be talking in the game as well. I'm done, like... System malfunction. Restoring normal operation of energy gates. What the hell? Close the gate, Adam! There's no guarantee you'll find this stone of immortality. We don't even know if it exists! You won't be able to take weapons from Raven with you. They'll disappear when you pass through the energy gate. Grace, if you interfere with the ship's captain, I will have to block your functionality. Please! Where did you end up? What is this strange place? The energy gate was supposed to transport you to the planet's surface? The geolocation was disrupted due to an electromagnetic anomaly. This is a local phenomenon in the depths of the planet, alien to Reseract. I need to figure out where you are, Adam. Approach the objects so I can scan them. Try to find weapons and traces of intelligent beings. Maybe some of them know about the Stone of Immortality? I mean, graphics-wise, for quest standards, you know, this place has it. Screw her. It's really good. Very much polished. I like the combat dynamics so far. It might be a little bit chaotic because there's a lot of mechanics, but in like a fast sequence. So we'll see in the actual scenario. But so far, I'm loving it. It's own charm. I love the architecture. It reminds me of Hyper. Do you remember that bar? How I used to sing that. His chariots of wrath, the deep thunder clouds form, and dark is his path on the wings of the storm. Wow, where did this hollow band storage come from? Let me try to hack it. Adam, I've gained access to the Hollow Burn firmware. They were installed by the miners from a city called Cordcaster on the planet's surface. They call these Hollow Burns defense posts and install them in case of a sudden enemy attack. The Cordcaster miners dug up this place. According to their records, it's a temple called the Halls of Shogor. It was built by a race of ancients to worship their god. Most of the data is damaged. I'll ask Raven to restore it. The miners blocked the doors for some reason. I hacked them and removed the blockage. You can proceed. Finally. What's this blue thing you're going on like? There are creatures here that we have already seen in the rehibernation module. I scanned them. They're dangerous and aggressive. Kill them, Adam! Damn it! There's a pyromancer here. Watch your step. They heat up the area before exploding it. Keep moving constantly and catch the pyromancers when they teleport. If you dodge an attack in time, you can activate Rapid, which drastically speeds up your reflexes. Uh, 
It's a lot, but I need to get used to it. In the miners' records, they are referred to as Infernals. Explore the temples further so I can learn more about them. Due to the anomaly, the architecture of the temples is constantly changing. Unusual types of Infernals may also appear, and the conditions for your survival may change. I will display for you descriptions and names of the fixed anomaly in the rooms that can be scanned. By the way, don't forget that you can release hooks from both hands. It could save your life. I mean, I never play Doom, but it is Doom. <laughs> like, there's a clear inspiration for me. I feel like the movement is too fast, actually. Not with the hooks, but if I can disable running, then it would be good. Like, can I do that? Uh, I don't see, but I could do it with vignette for some reason. Oh, that was that, okay. <laughs> Watch out! The scorched pyromancer here. They detonate large areas around itself. The only way to survive is to quickly leave the explosion's epicenter. See them attacking. Ew, 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 ew. What the fuck? What do I have on my face? I don't know where I am. Can I take this off? Oh my god, get off me! Everything is going to be fine. What the hell? You were poisoned by the Venomancer. Watch your step and quickly run away when the ground beneath your feet turns green. Oh my god, like, it wasn't explained to me. Those monsters are terrifying. Okay, I'm done with her. Where do we have, like, I think here. Ah, peace and quiet. We have. And information about the monsters, buffs. There's a lot of stuff. Some cute exploratory area. I don't know for what though. Because this is like in the base. But we have like an upgrade station. This is the roguelike element, I suppose. And it's over of the video. Like, there is a lot of bullshit happening in between of the actual gameplay. And... Pff, I'm not making a longer overview because I have other things to do. From what I saw so far, which was very little, it ain't half bad. Like, the graphics are cool, the mechanics are, like... It's dynamic and very fast-paced. I don't like this running sequence here because it's just too fast for my taste to even pay attention to what's going on. It's very arcadey, like there are no things going on, nor anything else really. Like, there's a huge arsenal. I find the voice acting to be very annoying, like it would be better off if it would not be at all. But that's maybe my specific thing because I have to make a video. <laughs> There's a lot of going on, but for a roguelite, it's always a good thing. If I'll be playing more of this in the future, we'll have to see, because it feels like every single game is a roguelike at this point, and I'm kind of starting to be bored with it. Oh, and this is like the arena that you can try out your skills. It's definitely one of the better Joyway games, by far. <laughs>